And here we have a rectangular sedimentation basin with its influent zone. So the first zone of a rectangular sedimentation basin is the influent zone, and this is where water enters the tank. As the water moves through the tank, it enters the settling zone, and this is where the settling takes place of the particles that will settle out. And at the end of the basin is the effluent zone, and this is where the water leaves the basin. And on the bottom, we have the sludge zone. The sludge zone is where the settled solids collect. So these are the four main zones of a conventional sedimentation basin, whether it's rectangular or circular. The influent zone, the settling zone, the effluent zone, and the sludge zone. And here we can see that there's the sludge collectors moving the sludge to the influent end of this rectangular clarifier for processing. Here we have pictured a round clarifier or a circular clarifier. And the water comes in the influent into the center stilling well. This is the influent zone. The water then leaves the stilling well and moves outward through the settling zone. As the settleable particles settle out, they enter the sludge zone down at the bottom of the clarifier, and the outer edges make up the effluent zone. On a circular clarifier, the effluent weir goes around the entire circumference of the clarifier, and that is the effluent zone. 